to do that at every mandal region at least two to three clusters must be developed and the food processing industry enables such a creation because the food is produced in almost all mandals different food has to be processed in order that about 30 to 40 percent of the loss can be arrested by food processing industry and thereby we can create a better food security than only by increasing the food production but whatever is produced if we can save and if we can save as much as 30 to 40 percent uh, that much of a food production we would have increased this 30 percent of a saving can come from by primary secondary and tertiary food processing and a primary food processing can be done at the village and you know the mandal levels and a secondary and final processing can be done at other centers at the district and other towns therefore food processing provides major opportunity for creating employment and that will serve therefore we request the government to consider food processing as a main thrust area then MSME sector as a, another area, both uh, food processing and MSME can go together. Therefore, such uh, infrastructure facilities have to be created on almost at uh, 1100 mandals. To begin with, uh, 300 mandals can be selected and they can be taken as the pioneering uh, uh, development uh, uh, centers. So, uh, then uh, next is uh, availability of power. The small industry should be given power as much as it is given for the agriculture, so much similar facility should be given for the small industry and uh, during the summer, you know, there, there should not be a power cut for the small industry. If that is uh, provided, I think this industry can survive and a better, uh, you know, the impetus would be given to the small industry. Then the, the industry department the Commissioner of Industries Department, we feel, should be raised to the secretary, chief secretary level, then add to that, mm. uh, so that that uh, industri the industrial board, you know, headed by a, a special chief secretary, will have infrastructure under its control, power, infrastructure, water facility, land allotment, uh, and what other uh, requirements that uh, uh, needs for an industrial establishment, and this way, you know, we can create a major industrial impetus in the state of Andhra Pradesh. I think these are some of our requirements and we wish to present these requirements to the Chief Minister so that he can take a new look at the industrial policy and provide the major initiatives that are already um, included in the industrial policy and that industrial policy can really take effect and can be implemented easily.